So we have Mystic Llama's account. He just wants to know what's next. So we're going to go over his account, see what we can do to help him progress a little bit faster. And then we shall continue from there. So as always, let's take a quick look at players. 286, Blood Berserker, 323, Bubo. That's pushing Rift. Seems like you're pushing Rift right now. 397, Siege Breaker. 333, Farming Platinum. He's beautiful. Divine Knight, 327, Voidwalker. 304, Elemental Sorcerer. We got a 226, Beastmaster. Probably the lowest level in your roster. Never mind. 203 on the Blood Berserker. 261, Divine Knight. And 234 on Divinity. It looks like everybody is pushing Rift right now. So let's take a quick look. Let's see where you are in Rift. Okay, so you're going to farm the Stamp Mastery out. I like how this is all messed up. I like that. That's, that's real nice. Okay, so he's currently trying to farm Rift 31. So he's on his way to that. Perfect. So let's go take a look at Stamps. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Okay. At your point in time, stamps minimum. Minimum 5k. Minimum 5k. Focusing skilling first. Then combat. Things such as big ones to level. Ladle stamp. Huge for ladles. Cooking meal stamp. Great for cooking speed. Multi-tool stamp. Oh, so massive for anything that you're doing. Easily. Multi-tool stamp is literally giga-juiced. Mesa jar stamp will just help. Crystalline stamp is going to be big. Absolutely, you want to get that. But all of these are super, super cheap. Easily, you could get to 5,000. Not to mention, you are going for stamp mastery. So since you're going for stamp mastery, or your rift, ideally... What you want is you want at least 5k for that beautiful, beautiful 50% chance. If you get it higher, that'd be more ideal, but I'm going to set you at just 5k stamps, working on your skilling stamps first, and then working on your combat stamps. We're going to the next one. Take a look at your alchemy. Okay. Alchemy's looking pretty good, actually. Alchemy's not looking too bad. You're looking all right. So you got, all right, so you got that going, you got that going. I'd say minimum bubble is about 95, 95 minimum bubble. Not terrible, not too bad. Okay. So what I, what I would suggest going, going forward is working towards getting your multi-resource bubbles to 300%. But by 300%, that means adding stamps, star signs, and whatever else I, know, I forget whatever whatever everything else is but you just it, you need a total of 300 percent going forward and then that will help that'll help instantly with your 3d prints 100 percent. how's your vials looking okay you need to finish off your vials finish off your vials resource bubbles to 300 percent, which is around i believe level like 145 to like 160 ish i would believe is that is that bubble those bubble levels that you need i don't remember the exact number but it's somewhere around there so finish off your vials you know just getting them unlocked if you can even get some of these to level four if they're not all level four make them level four it looks like all of them are pretty much level four at this point oh your pickle jar is at level four delete account get rid of it it's trash man you gotta get level four pickle jar it only take like what a thousand days Around there, around there, what, 1,000, 10,000 days? Something like that? You know, I've been playing this game since it was before release, probably. I mean, all these look pretty good, though. You see, ooh, you gotta, gotta, gotta finish farming off those frogs. Classic, classic. But other than that, you know, most of these are looking good. Uh, shave Ice, obviously, is gonna be a hard one. So, I mean, most of these, as long as they're level 4, that's good. That's good to see. Sigils. Now, the real question is, the real question is, maybe you can answer this for me, Mystic. Do you have all your, do you have all your cauldron boosts at 170? Are they all at 170 or not? Let's take a look in construction. 
Level 16, level 14, level 4, level 7, level 6. Not too bad. Not all right. Yeah, finish our vials. Get them to level 4. 130, 140. You want to get them arrest to 170. So, get all cauldron boosts finished to 170. Then go back to sigils. You want them at 170 as soon as possible because all the new bubbles that are going to be coming out, upgrading bubbles are going to be cheaper. Getting everything up to the max capacity they need is just going to be beneficial all around. And also, if you can, cooking roadkill for Bubo to make this easier. Uh, I would say about level, if you can, minimum level 150. 150 if you can, I would suggest for that one. And then since we since we're doing that, since we're looking at your bubo to help you boost the rest of your boost here, let's take a look here. This is 323. Okay, so this is your main. So if you take a look here, post office. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know, the potion package, aka the alchemy box, will give you at max at 400 boxes an extra 30 seconds on your cooking cranium cooking. 30 flat seconds absolutely need to get that as soon as possible a sap arena so i see you're leveling up the cooking box and the lab box but that stuff doesn't really matter all that much divinity you're getting there so definitely work on for bubo getting alchemy box asap hey waves how's it going buddy sorry i'm just in the middle of something here so definitely, you want to get that as soon as possible. How's your tools looking? Gold tools across the board. Skulls. Bigger. Equals better person. Alright? You want to make sure you get that as soon as possible. You want to make sure you get your, get your skulls big. All this stuff. You got to realize that you don't even have some skulls. Like, some of these skulls are super juiced. You got to think about it this way, okay? You're probably at that point now where you're going to need a lot of souls, a lot, sorry, a lot of souls in a small amount of time, okay? Right now, you are totally hemorrhaging yourself big time by not upgrading these skulls. Not only do you have one that's a level 28 that has no skull on it whatsoever, you have a bunch of basic skulls. Even at level, what, 22, you can easily get more skulls. Take the time, get your skulls up, if you really need to, and if you don't know, and this is for people with chat that don't know, if you want to level up your skulls to so like Bop. easily, bing bong bezel, easily level on, 40, Bop. all you have bing to do, bong, bezel. come on, baby. Thank you for the follow, Bojack. Easiest thing that you want to do is you want to take, your, take a bunch of balloons, go into Goblin Gorefest, and then you want to summon the tower defense. Place one tower down, and then just start spamming balloons. You start spamming a tons of balloons, and then you can easily get all your characters to level 40 without even trying. A very, very minute amount, and then that way you can get all your skulls to the next tier, and you're going to be juicing, you're going to have lots of souls, you're going to have lots of games, charge rate's going to be fantastic, everybody's going to love you, they're all going to think you're a hero, you are the hero of this story right now, so definitely want to farm that out as soon as possible. And I mean, you already have a max wave of 100, so that soul's pretty good. Acord Assault, 50, 42, 64. How's your buildings? How are your, what are your buildings at? 47, 46, 41? Oh my god. Oh my god. Do your tower defense. Do your tower defense, bro. You have a level tie, level 12 Poisonic Elder. You have a level 52 Boulder Roller. Like, dude, you have high enough tower levels that you can easily, easily push. You're currently sitting at what? 50, 42, 64? Bro, you could get this to like 80 across the board with that level 12 Poisonic Elder. I'm not even kidding. Like, you get easy level 80. Super, super, super easy, dude. And I'll also help you uh, get some... This will also help you to get Midas Mind. This is a huge one. This is a massive one. Midas Mind increases 
drop rate. Not only that, it's not affected by bosses. OJ Bay, you probably wouldn't get to rank 80. You'd probably maybe get to, I would say about 50 on OJ Bay with the current 12 Poisonic. I mean, you could probably even run boulders and might get you to 60. But I mean, yeah, you're basically, basically. And if you're, and if you're pushing Rift and you're not hitting multi-kill, by the way, run Fibers of Absence. Fiber of Absence, Kill Per Kill, and Mr. Massacre. Or, well, I guess not Mr. Massacre, but Kill Per Kill. Kill Per Kill and running Fiber of Absence, if you don't hit multi-kill, will actually help you push through greatly. Because if I take a look here, I'm taking a guess, you're probably at the 5 million here. If you take a look at your talents, you got 119 on Memorial Skulls. Okay, so you are leveling up these skulls. These things are actually huge for Kill Per Kill. All right, cool, 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 cool. You got all those running. Excellent. Good to see. Okay, so that's good. How's your statues looking? So it seems that you have done a little bit of farming for statues, but you are eventually going to want to go to your statue farm. Statue farm. Once all of these are done. I would strongly suggest. And just, po I mean, and then while you do that, while you're doing that, you can also farm post office. How's your 3D prints looking? 3D printer. 5.83 mil. You have a sample of 48.6k, but only printing 4.41k. Go update your printing. Oh, dude. You have an update? Bro, swap out your prints. <laughs> Bro. I've never ever seen this. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Bro, you're missing out on like over 30, it's 37k of, on your prints per hour. What the, bro, that's crazy talk. What the hell, dude? Dude, I, bro, what? That's awesome. It's the first time I've ever seen that. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that. So what I see what you're doing here as well is you're also getting some Giga Frogs. So here, here's what I suggest, okay? Here, here, here's, here's, what I, here's what I would suggest. So, get your characters to a point where they can all get decent prints on their skilling. This will help you greatly. And then, Beastmaster and Maestro, or in your case, V-Man, because you can do the speedrun prints, V-Man run Biles, or sorry, Mob Materials, for, for whatever you're trying to upgrade, and Refinery Mats. That's what I suggest how to run your 3D printer at this point in time at the moment. And, I mean, if you get some free gems. Free gems. Unlock some more. Well, I mean, I, wait, does it take gems to unlock slots? Either way, yeah, yeah, sample slots. Yeah, finish unlocking all your sample slots. It's going to help you greatly. It's going to help you huge. I'm sure you can farm it out. It's definitely something you want to work towards. I mean, you got a bunch of four-star cards. I would say getting the rest of the sample slots definitely won't hold you back. Yeah, but you need a, you need a printer day. Doing a printer day will definitely help you greatly. But So we're going to... How's your armor all around? You're doing Void, Dementia, Troll, Troll, Dementia, Amrock, Dementia. Okay, I mean, you're listening to me, which is good. All right. Yes, sample. So this is, this is what I want you to do, Lava. So you want stamps at minimum 5K, focusing skilling first, then combat. And you want to work on your multi-resource bubbles to help you get to that 300% for bigger prints all around. So, which is about level 145 to 160, give or take. You know, you can use stamp, bargain bargain tag, stuff like that. You know, that's, and I'm talking about 300% by adding stamp, star signs, whatever, whatever it takes to get to the 300%. Finish off your vials and get them to level 4 just so you get some more bubonic conjurer damage. Obviously want that as much as possible. Get all cauldrons boost finished to 170, and then you can go back to sigils. Finish off your cauldron boost first, and then you can go and continue your sigil farm, because sigils take forever, man. And also, not to mention, cranium cooking also is really OP on boosting cauldrons. Cooking roadkill for Bubo to make the easier levels, which is level about minimum level 150, will help you greatly. And for Bubo specifically, make sure to get the alchemy box, so you get plus 30 seconds on your cranium cook time. Gold tools across the board just to start juicing up your extra stats. Uh, get a bigger worship skulls. Bigger skulls, better person. Do your tower defense. You, you have such a great thing going right now with all the levels of your towers that if you just take the time and actually do your tower defense, you'll be super huge. 
farming post office will be massive as well. Uh, you know, after you're, after you're ready, after you're done all this, you can start doing the statue farm uh, on your DK. And then, you know, obviously you're going to want to run Midas as well when you unlock that through your, uh, through your tower defense in farming post office. And they get all your characters point where they can get all decent prints on their skilling bubbles, or all, all skilling prints. So you want every character to run skilling prints, and except for your B, uh, Beastmaster and V-Men, you're going to run mob materials and refinery prints. And then unlocking all sample slots by buying them in the gem shop. I have a video on how to get free to play gems if you don't want to spend the money, so make sure to watch that. And that's what I want you to do. This will last you more than a couple of weeks. So good luck on that, dude.